Hello everyone, I am Tom Coughlin and I have the pleasure to serve as the 2024 President and CEO of the IEEE. On behalf of the IEEE Board of Directors, thank you for the opportunity to congratulate the recipient of one of IEEE's prestigious Technical Field Awards, the 2024 IEEE Donald O. Peterson Award in Solid State Circuits. Sponsored by IEEE Solid State Circuit Society, this award recognizes outstanding contributions to solid state circuits. Originally established in 1987, this award was renamed in 2005 in honor of Donald in tribute to his dedication and efforts in the field. In 1966, Donald was a co-founder of the IEEE Solid State Circuits Council, the forerunner of today's Solid State Circuit Society, and was instrumental in launching the IEEE Journal of Solid State Circuits that same year. This year, it is my pleasure to recognize IEEE Fellow Duck Kiyun Jung for leadership in the technology development for video, digital video interface and high definition multimedia interface. Today's inexpensive, high performance PCs, game controllers and video systems would not be possible without the precision synchronization enabled by the work of Professor Jung. He was the first to create a high speed digital link between a computer and a monitor. Before this, Low resolution defined the viewing experience. From the start, Professor Jung had a vision for a better display of information, and we all see more clearly for it. On behalf of the IEEE Board of Directors, it is my pleasure to recognize IEEE Fellow Professor Duk Kiyun Jung as a recipient of the 2024 IEEE Donald O. Peterson Award in Solid State Circuits. This year's Don Peterson Award is given to Professor D.K. Jung, honoring his contribution to the development of the DVI, the Digital Video Interface, and the HDMI, the High Definition Media Interface, both through his academic research and through his co-founding of a company called uh, Silicon Image. Well, uh, this award celebrates uh, accomplishments of professionals in our field over a long period of time, and in particular, identifies and recognizes uh, their contributions and their impact on the industry, in particular the semiconductor industry. I started working on timing circuits like uh, face lock loops in my graduate studies at uh, UC Berkeley. Uh, I came up with the idea of so-called zero delay buffer, which synchronizes the timing between the external clock and internal clock regardless of the on-chip buffer delay. I think it was the first time that a very sensitive analog circuit like a PLL was integrated in the same chip with a very complex digital circuits like the CPU. If we look back to uh, about 25 years ago, I think, uh, we can see a number of seminal papers that have come from Professor Jung's activities that have had long-lasting effect on our work in serial links and high-speed transceivers. I came up with the technique so-called blind oversampling that uh, enabled low-speed CMOS devices to handle high-speed signals, which uh, otherwise would be impossible with a traditional technique. That uh, low-cost technology was productized in the company called Silicon Image as the interface of flat panel displays to replace analog-based RGB cables. Uh, in addition, in the context of, for example, clock and data recovery circuits, uh, Professor Jung introduced a number of ideas that uh, became robust and very well, uh, very easy to use. The digital video interface called DVI was later evolved into HDMI by including audio in the blanking period of the video signals. At a broader level, at a higher level, I will say his research had a profound impact on the way we distribute these clocks within integrated circuit chips, and also the way we communicate data between these chips using these uh, clocks. And, and the, the whole research uh, that he pursued uh, through his lifetime now became a field called high-speed interface today. So that impact 
I believe is why he's getting the award.